Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video. Now this is going to be another tutorial video. Uh, I know it's back to back with another one. However, I'm still in the same island so I might as well record this right after the other one and upload it on the next day, right? So basically, this is going to be a tutorial on the new like mechanical doors that they added with the Mecha Team Leader Galleries as of late. So I guess I'll take this outside and show you what they are. So we go to military, I can search it, it's going to be in military gallery C. It's going to be these huge mechanical doors, we're going to grab the red one. They, they cost quite a bit of memory. Uh, I must put this into grid snap 2, just because it's easier. And this is what the door is, so like this is used like this basically. There is very little you can actually do with this though. Like, yes, it's a really cool looking door that you can use for like, if you guys have seen uh, SCP Containment Breach or Danganronpa V3, uh, these, are these are the kind of doors that you could put in front of the Exosol, uh, like, storage area, or, in or for like, the containment door for SCP-173s, like, that's what you can kind of use this for. And I can actually customize this, so, in the advanced settings you have very little settings of what you can do with this. You have the open length and the close length, enable to game start, and enable and disable when receiving from. So enable and disable are basically your lock and and like unlock variants of it. And there's no way to like keep it open and closed. So uh, I'm pretty sure you can't use lock devices on this. So if I were to grab a lock device from the device thing right now, I'm pretty sure this won't register it as a door. Because this isn't really a door, it's more of a prop, but... This... Oh crap. This has also got a very strange collision, mind you. Like, th this thing has got very bad and very strange collision. It's so strange. Like, look, I'm, e I'm even over here and I can still grab it. The mechanical doors always have this really like horrible collision. I, I don't like the collision on the mechanical doors. Like if I were to place this on the door right now, that's not on the door, but oh well, we'll just move the door into the lock device then. Because, you know, placement is hard. It does not recognize this as a door. Because this is apparently not a door for some reason. But yeah, so you cannot use lock devices with this. So if you saw my most viewed video on the channel, which is my tutorial on lock devices, like the SCB checkpoints, this cannot be used like those devices. But I'll show you all the different settings you can set this to. So open length and close length on one second is very fast. Like, I feel like that's something you would have in an SCP containment door. So, like, if you want to make a SCP, uh, like, door with it, I would shrink it down. And then I'd shrink the, uh, not the width, the depth to, like, this. And then if I move this down a bit, that, that would be, like, what you would use for SCP-173's containment door or something. And, like, the maximum you can set this to is 30 seconds. And this is very slow. This is extremely slow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but we're gonna sit here and watch this thing be slow. I, I promise you I'm not trying to drag on the video. I'm not trying to drag the video out, I promise. <laughs> yeah, this door has a lot of options you can do with it. It's a very complex prop, to say the least. There we go done. <laughs> and now let's set it back to one second so as soon as we walk away from it, not much, like it just closes. There is very little you can do with these doors and as much as I love to say this would be great for an SCP map, uh, you would have to have a button that toggles the same thing on and off somehow. I don't know how you would do that, I haven't actually tried it myself. But yeah, that is the new door. Um, I don't know how you could do stuff with it. You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys can come up with something creative to use it for. 
I mean, I can definitely see the uses for it, but I just find those uses for it hard to use. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this door. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.